Welcome to chemistry classes. Now we are in the chapter practical chemistry. In this session 1. Now in this session we will discuss about the various steps involved in the characterization of organic compounds. That means we may prepare so many compounds in the laboratory. So to discuss the characteristics of these compounds in this session and also various methods which are involved in the purification of the compounds and also to introduce the quantitative analysis. Our aim is to introduce various steps involved in characterization of organic compounds. Especially we are dealing with the organic compounds only. And next one is to discuss about the methods which are involved in the purification of the compounds. To discuss different methods used for purification. And also we are going to introduce the quantitative analysis. That means what is the composition of the given organic compound by using some techniques you can identify the composition of the given compound that is quantitative analysis and another aim is to introduce quantitative analysis. Now characterization of the organic compounds. Generally what you have prepared in the laboratory or what you are occurring from the natural sources the organic compounds having some impurities. So by using some methods you can usually purify those impurities. After purifying the compounds you have to find out the percentages of elements which are involved in the organic compound. After finding the elements and their percentage you have to find out the molecular formula of the organic compound. So in the characterization of the organic compound various steps are involved. The first one is purification of organic compound. That means what you have prepared from the laboratory and natural sources. It contains some impurities with the compound. So by using this purification methods you can easily purify the given organic compound. And next one is to identify the various elements which are present in the organic compound. That is called qualitative analysis. In this qualitative analysis in general you have find out the various elements which are present in the organic compound. And next one is what you are going to find out is what is the composition. That means how much percentage of these elements are present in the organic compound. That means to find out the percentage of elements in given organic compound. For this also we have to use so many methods. And finally we will calculate the molecular mass of the compound. So to characterize or to know the various characters of these you have to follow these methods. First you have to purify the compound. According to the nature of the compound compound we will use the various purification techniques. Later we will discuss about the various purification techniques and then we will discuss about the what are the elements which are present in the organic compound by the qualitative analysis. And after that we have to find out the percentage of elements which are present in the organic compound by using this quantitative analysis. To find out the percentage of elements it is nothing but quantitative analysis. And finally we will calculate the molecular formula of the compound. This is the various steps involved in the characterization of any organic compound in the laboratory. The first one is purification. In this purification depends upon the nature of the organic compound we will follow the various methods like crystallization, sublimation, distillation. All these process are involved in the purification. And next one is qualitative analysis. That means to find out the what are types of elements are present in the organic compound. And the next one is quantitative analysis. Quantitative means how much percentage of these elements are present in the organic compound. That gives the quantitative analysis. The next one is determination of molecular mass of the given organic compound. So by using this molecular formula of the given organic compound you can calculate the empirical formula of the organic compound. The next one is empirical formula. Calculation of empirical formula of organic compound. 
and finally the structure and various methods commonly employed for the purification and characterization of the organic compound that means what we have discussed up to here only you can find out the molecular formula and structural formula of the given organic compound only but uh, the various structures uh, which are involved for the organic compound also calculated or characterized by this methods that is elucidation of structure by various methods now what is the purification generally for the purification of the organic compound we can use so many methods depends upon the nature of the organic compound we already discussed that initially what you are getting from the laboratory are natural resources the organic compound has some impurities but by using various methods suppose if the organic compound is having a ability to dissolve in the polar solvents by using this crystallization process you can easily purify the organic compound or the organic compound is sublime that means it can directly by heating solid state to gas state it will be converted so by this type of organic compounds we can use sublimation and if the organic compound is a mixture of two or three it can be purified by the some distillation processes or extraction processes the various methods which are involved in the purification here the first one is crystallization this crystallization is used for the polar organic compounds and next one is sublimation which is used for the compounds which have a sublime in nature that means on heating these compounds directly converted from the solid to gas and next process is differential extraction this differential extraction is usually used for the organic compounds which are present in the liquid state if two organic compounds are mixed in the liquid state you can easily differentiate these two by using differential extraction and another one is distillation this distillation process also used for the liquid compounds only and another one is fractional distillation this distillation and fractional distillation have a similar properties but the compounds which are having the closer boiling point those can be purified by using the fractional distillation and another one is distillation under reduced pressure this process distillation under the reduced pressure is used for the organic solvents which are having low boiling points and the next process is steam distillation and another one is chromatographic techniques this chromatographic technique is the best method to purify the any organic compound depends upon the diffusion property of the compound this chromatography is used and it will be the better process compared to all and we will discuss about these process one by one now the first one is crystallization this crystallization process is used for the purification of the solid organic compounds that means the substances which are present in the solid form this method used for solid organic substance and the process involved in this method is first you have to dissolve the organic compound with the suitable solvent that means uh, the various compounds uh, some of them are dissolved in non polar solvents some of them are dissolved in polar solvents so according to nature of the organic compound we have to dissolve the substance which is present in the solid form up to saturation level that means we have to form the saturated organic solution by using the suitable solvent we have to form the saturated organic solution with the given substance and we have to filter them because it has some impurities while filtering these impurities are removed the saturated solution in the hot form while it is hot then only you have to filter the hot solution is filtered by suitable filter papers and finally we have to cool them without any disturbance that means while we are cooling these substances this again gets formed the corresponding crystals of the solid substance or solid organic substance so finally you have to cool the corresponding saturated solution that means after filtration the saturated solution of given substance is cooled without any disturbance 
finally it forms the corresponding crystals you can show this in the given picture here this is initially organic compound with impurities and it is dissolved in the corresponding solvent if it is a polar solvent you can use ethanol or any dmso like that solvents if it is a non polar organic compound you can use non polar solvents such as chloroform or dcm like this compounds you have to use you first you have to make the saturated solution of the or corresponding organic compound while this temperature is increasing the compounds or the elements which are present in the substance is dissolved in the solvent and after the heating up this solution up to the saturated level we have to filter them to avoid the impurities again we have to cool without any disturbance while it is cooling these are crystallized these are impurities and these are the pure organic substances so while cooling these are comes together it forms a crystals forms as shown in this diagram all are arranged in the systematic manner and forms the corresponding crystals with the systematic arrangement or three dimensional arrangement it finally gives the crystal of the corresponding organic substance this crystal has a pure form of the given organic substance as shown in this picture finally it forms the pure crystal of given organic compound in the solutions impurities are removed and you can get pure organic substance